Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Here I am, I'm back at the chain by Betalil and we have a new update for this mod. So we now have a player home, it's called Violet Keep. Just going to show you the overview of the island because I don't think I did that. Isn't it beautiful? Fantastic. And also, by the way, something I forgot to mention the other day when I did my playthrough video of this mod uh, is the music in it. It mainly is by Alexander Nakarada and oh my goodness, it's fabulous. Beautiful, soothing and lovely. OK, let's get down and have a closer look. All right, so we now have a new NPC. By the way, Inigo and I are both wearing the uh, armor that you get at the end of the quest line. <laughs> it's very smart, isn't it? The only thing that didn't quite work for us was the helmet with our pussycat ears, but everything else, fab, I love it. All right, so there's a new lady. Oh, not you. Hello. There she is. Such good day. Are there any houses for sale? There is. To the south of Seville, there's a small island with everything you'd ever need for a peaceful and quiet life in the chain. Two cosy houses await you and your children, next to a small farm to grow any kind of crops, and a stilt house for your alchemy shenanigans. I only charge 5,000 septums, very cheap for an island. Cost was reduced because there aren't many travellers around here. So, what will it be? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Here you go. I hope you'll enjoy your time in the chain. Okay, so if you recognise her voice... <laughs> C'est moi. Oh my god, Inigo, you're so close. <laughs> um, I did the voice acting for that. I wouldn't call it voice acting. I read the lines for that, I think, would be the um, most appropriate way of describing it. I feel very humble indeed compared to the proper voice actors in this mod, let me tell you. Um, but I did my best and I had some fun. All right, so you will see the island on the horizon there. Let's see if we can fast travel there. Oh, no, got to find it first. OK, so there should be a ship. All right, well, I ended up swimming here because I couldn't find the ship, but I see that there is one here, so uh, that's cool. And you can fast travel here once you've discovered it, so that's perfect also. Look at this island, and it's all yours. How lovely. Oh, my goodness, and it's so... Oh, I love the sound of the waves and the seagulls and all of that. All right, let's explore. Seems like a bargain to me, 5,000 gold for this wonderful island. Oh, look, this one of those little fairy things. <laughs> Somebody made a comment underneath the video for the chain of time saying that Faye were nasty, bitey, thing, stingy things. <laughs> Did make me laugh. It's not my experience of them at all. <laughs> All right, so we have a smelter, we have a forge, grindstone, everything we need. That's very cool. This armor, by the way, you can improve, and I have done so. Just takes uh, steel ingots. There's our ship. Somewhere to sit out. Oh, this is nice because there's accommodation for your kids and there's accommodation for you. So if you do have a follower, they can sleep out here on these bedrolls. In fact, that'll probably be me and Inigo on one each. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't you just love it in a place like this? <gasps> oh, excellent. We have soils. And a nice lot, too, to grow our own crops. Beautiful. Oh, I love this idea, actually, as a chicken coop. That is really cool. I'd much rather have that than a boring old grain mill. Right, so this will be for my alchemy shenanigans. It was so much fun doing the voice lines. Honestly, it's harder than you think. It took me about two hours <laughs> just to do the first lot. In fact, there were two pages and I, I didn't realise I didn't scroll down, so I missed a page altogether and had to go back and do that one. But honestly, hearing your own voice, you just think, oh, I sound such a tool. It's, uh, it's harder than you think, guys. So this is lovely, isn't it? These blue flowers are everything. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we've got all of the crafting needs. And if you've got a uh, Cryman's mod, Khajiit Rito Kalshan, or Mentha's mod, more uh, colourful plant summons, then you'll be able to, you know, put all sorts of extra plants here if you wanted to. I think it's lovely though. Especially this grass, I really like it a lot. All 
right then. Oh, there's a couple of those little fays popping about. I love them. They're so cute. I've never seen them anywhere else in, in Skyrim. All right, so let's see. Okay, so this is for the kids. It's kind of nice that they're separate from you. <laughs> They've got little toys. So one downstairs, one upstairs. Oh, I like that. Look how cute. They've got little toys. Oh my goodness, when you miniaturise anything, it automatically becomes adorable, doesn't it? Okay, so next door's going to be us. They're such sweet little houses. Not a lot you can do with them because of their small size, but... Uh, cute. Oh good, we've got cooking and an oven. And then what's upstairs? Okay, we've got wardrobes and a bookcase and somewhere to have a meal. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to sit on the end of my bed. <laughs> Cute. Although in a place like this, I think I would spend my whole life out of doors. You know what I mean? I honestly don't think that I'd be spending any time inside. Oh, look at the views. All right, well, I think that covers just about everything player home-wise. Do let me know what you think about it, and I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.